good morning guys so today we're off to do the steering rack in the 90 series and uh, we'll do a bit more clearancing on the guard liners for these 33s and then from there we're going to do a bit of an off-road test so, so it's a bit hard to turn at the moment just because I've got to stop the scrubbing but yeah so we're gonna go and do that I'm just heading down there now um, catch up with Anthony he's gonna throw my steering rack in for me film the whole process um, yeah if I can get it to clear today without scrubbing um, then yeah I'll be doing a video on how to fit 285 16s or a 32.8 inch tire on a two inch lift so we'll see how we go okay anyway, guys i'll catch up with you when i get there What are you doing? Um, good question. <laughs> Alright guys, having a few issues here with this one. Uh, the dealership that I bought this from a few years back decided that they would change the steering rack after the end seals failed back then they've really tightened the, the lines from the power steering pump so can't even get it undone with a flare nut spanner at the moment so we're going to try something else hopefully we can get it undone and we can continue on with this one so this is what we've had to use pro's foot and a ratchet to actually get these lines undone because they're super tight so um the flare nut spanners just weren't working so awesome onwards we go yeah, the main issue here was it was the rack end was leaking and it's filling the boot up and then the boot had a hole in it and it was dripping everywhere and got a rebuilt rack to go in might make it a bit nicer to drive as well maybe though it wasn't really affecting anything at the moment but. Set that one, which is about there. That should be straight. It's very rough, but we can always adjust it if need. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little bit of a difference there. Well, it's just a bit more the same. We've got 20 and 205. 205. Or 20.5. So I reckon that would be definitely straight without three markers. Great. Do you want to tell everyone about the issue we have with that thing in your hand? Well, Although I've put a bit of spray on there, there was that much rust in here after a bit of a Kiron crossing. <laughs> it was rusted right onto here, on the old one. So I had to get a chisel right up in there, spend a bit of time spreading that open a bit and hammering it off. Yeah, in the vice as well, yep. so. Good yep. fun. Put the old rack in there. 
she's ready to rock and roll. guys so rack is finally in and all bolted up and we bled it Anthony is now doing the alignment got a little bit more negative camera into the front just to stop it catching the flares I fixed the issue with this part of the guard line is sticking out so it won't catch the tire anymore when I'm turning which is good and and uh, and yeah, that's where we're at. So, the alignment, do a bit of a flex test on the old flex ramp again, which I'll film this time. And uh, yeah, hopefully, we won't have any more scrubbing. Let's we'll see how we go. on top. Okay. She's up on top. Okay. Just want to check this. Got a pencil anyway? Yeah. 